And moving on today, January 24th is the International Day of Education, being the third commemoration since its inception. These year's celebrations are happening within unprecedented uh, times of the COVID-19 pandemic. However, in West Pocot County, there is a 25-year-old girl whose efforts in fighting for the rights of girls to education have ensured that despite the threat posed by COVID-19, Tens of girls remain in school and are safely continuing with their education. Shadrak Miti with that story. Teresa Chepto from Kolopot village in West Pakot County is a woman on a mission. Born and raised under the strict conservative Pakot culture, her determination never suffered any cultural deterrence save for poverty and lack of resources. The 25-year-old maintained her focus in education and thanks to sponsorships from well-wishers, she joined Limuru Girls High School after posting impressive results in KCPE. Her star would continue to shine shortly after joining high school when she was invited to the United States of America to speak at the UN conference highlighting the plight of a Pakot girl in her pursuit of education. As a result, she received 15,000 US dollars as prize money. I donated the money to a CBO and we were able to sponsor 27 girls in secondary school and three girls in colleges. And we did other things, maybe um, construction of uh, making of desks and we shared them in the community in the near, nearby schools. Part of her generosity can be seen at St. Elizabeth Morpus Girls High School, where tens of girls rescued from FGM and other oppressive cultural practices have since found refuge. Although when she decided to channel her entire prize money to building of schools and buying of furniture and other learning equipment, there was not COVID-19. Her efforts and benevolence came in handy during the long closures of school, when many girls who would have been circumcised and eventually married off found refuge at this school and other centers. And today they are continuing with their education, the effects of COVID-19 on learning, not with the standing. Because of COVID, you find that some girls have nowhere to go because their homes, it is so wild. And therefore we host them here and uh, it has been a challenge for us. This year's theme for International Education Day is recover and revitalize education for the COVID-19 generation. And as the world marks this day, observers say it is increasingly... As you are brought up, you are taught on how to be a woman and how to be the best woman to a husband, so that when you grow up, your mind is just focused. It's very much focused on getting a man and being the best wife. And achievement of dreams and going to school becomes a non-issue in the society. In partnership with faith leaders in the church, we actually train communities on what it means to create a loving and protected environment for a child. This is whether it's a girl child or a boy child. UNICEF estimates that at the peak of school closures in April 2020, over a billion children were out of school worldwide. Currently, about 700 million learners are still studying from home. And with Kenya still experimenting with full resumption of learning, the government and communities have been called upon to ensure safety of learners. And they need to report those cases and hold each other accountable. But we need to make them understand that those policies exist, that they should know their rights, that they should know the rights of their children, and as such play an active role in making sure that children are protected. This year's International Education Day is happening amidst sustained calls to have teachers at all education levels adequately trained to operate in non-conventional learning environment of schools beyond walls, besides supporting parents' efforts to help their children learn from home. Shadrach Miti, KT News. Now, Chasamis Boys High School in Bungoma County has been closed.